Hello everyone, welcome to my skincare routine. I know I've been trying to get this video out for a while. I have been running into so many different issues, but let's get right into it. I'm going to start by clipping my hair back. I just wanted to talk about why I've switched to all Korean skincare pretty much. The only thing that I don't use that's Korean is I think my, I think my cleanser. Um, I still use the CeraVe cleanser for dry skin. It's it's the one in the, it like looks like this, but it's green. You guys know what I'm talking about? Anyway, I use that one. It's, it, it's worked really well for me. I've used it for the last couple of years. Um, I'm still trying to find a Korean cleanser that really, really works for me. I've just been doing a lot of research and stuff like that. So I don't, I've been slowly introducing everything into my routine. So I'm just trying, I'm trying not to like you know, just introduce everything at once, you know, because that is the smart thing to do, especially with someone who looks like a fucking vampire and I, you know, my skin is red and, and pink and shades of pink and red. The thing that I've noticed since switching to pretty much all Korean skincare is that my redness has gone down a lot. The, I know your pores don't actually get smaller, I think, but like my pores look like they've gotten a lot smaller. My pores are really huge in my T-zone. And my blackheads have gone down a lot. Like they've, I don't want to say that they've disappeared, but they're not as prominent as they used to be. And also I kind of just have like this glow to my skin. It looks a lot more evened out. My skin is a lot softer. I have very, very dry skin. So I use a lot of products that are for very, very dry skin. So if that is not you, this routine is probably not going to work for you. It's so funny because like my skin, the, the older I get, the drier my skin gets. I used to have super oily skin. Like I, if I could find pictures of me from high school, you could literally see the oil on my face. I didn't have anything on my face and you could just see the oil. I used to take those oil sheets and just, I'd take another one and I'd take another one and I'd take another one. It was so bad, but I usually start with these hyaluronic eye patches, but I'm not going to do that today. These are really great. They just, I don't keep them in the fridge or anything. You can, but like, um, they just go under your eye. I don't have time today, but they're very cooling and they've actually reduced my dark circles a lot. I don't get super bad dark circles, but lately I have because I have been very busy. So, um, yeah, these have helped a lot. So definitely recommend these. These are really great. The next thing I'm going to go in with is this e.l.f. vitamin C serum. So I know this isn't Korean, but I definitely want to find a Korean vitamin C serum. This is one of the cheapest ones or one of the most affordable vitamin C serums on the market now. It's sold out though, that's the problem with it. It's always sold out. I got lucky when I found, I, I think I'm on my third bottle of it, randomly at Walmart to get something else. And I was like, I'm gonna go look in the makeup section. I'm almost out of vitamin C serum. Maybe they have it. It was sold out online. It was sold out from Target, sold out everywhere. And I went and there was like a smashed up bottle of it. Like the box was all smashed up. And I was like, I don't care if this has poison in it. I need to buy this because it's sold out everywhere. The next thing that I'm going to go in with is this Beauty of Joseon Glow Serum. This has propolis and niacinamide. I don't really know how to say propolis. I don't know. Now, all of these products combined have made my skin look amazing, like really, really great. But I, I like to use like half the bottle of something or like the whole bottle of something before I can really make a judgment as if something specific works as a whole. Combined, these products have transformed my skin. I can't tell you if that product has really done anything though. After I do my little like shave face routine, that product actually looks amazing on my skin and gives me this nice sheen. You can't really see it now. My room is kind of dark. Um, this is how I prefer to have my room when I'm getting ready. So, um, oh, I just forgot to tell you guys what I'm putting on my face. Next thing I'm gonna use is this Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. Now this is a snail secretion product. It is gonna, if you've never used a snail secretion product, it's gonna freak you out at first. It is really gooey. It doesn't smell like anything though. None of these Korean skincare products smell like anything. Like genuinely, they don't smell like anything, which is great. And then if I'm having an extra dry day, which is very common during the winter, I will just add an extra layer of moisturizer and I'll just use my regular daily moisturizing lotion from CeraVe. And I still have a lot of it left, so I don't wanna waste it. I usually just use it on my neck because I don't like to waste products and I still, I have like half a bottle left. 
But the next thing that I'm going to go in with is this. I for totally forgot to put this on my face, but this is the 10% benzoyl peroxide. I've been using this shit since high school. If you feel a zit coming on, just put this on your face. Put this on your face because I promise you, your zit will go away. Even if you feel it coming and you can't even see it, it'll, it'll just disappear. I've had this for like a year and a half, two years now. Like you really don't need that much product. It lasts forever. It's covered in makeup. Like you don't need the clean and clear brand one that's like $15. I don't know if it's $15, but the, I think this is $10 or something or cheaper or it's like $5.99 or something. I don't know. It's really cheap. The next thing I'm going to go in with is this Beauty of Josan uh, sunblock SPF 50. I know a lot of people say that like Beauty of Josan isn't like super popular in Korea. Apparently it's marketed more towards the West. Honestly, I don't really care as long as it has like the same technology in it. I really don't care because Korean skincare is on a whole other level, you guys. The One of the biggest reasons why I switched is because they focus a lot on wrinkle prevention. So like a lot of Western skin products don't necessarily focus on that. Um, they focus on like treating wrinkles if you have them now. Um, but I'm, I'm trying not to have them at all. So you know what I'm saying? So yeah, and I don't know if you guys have ever seen like a K-drama or a K-pop idol or just an actor, their skin is perfect. And I know that like social media distorts a lot of things, but like I, as someone who's very into K-pop, if you see some of those idols without makeup, like you see the idols without makeup all the time and like the behind the scenes videos or like just them hanging out videos, there's a lot of content. <laughs> they don't, they, they like they have nothing on their face like their skin is perfect and I know that it's probably because they have access to like skincare and like obviously they have people following them around and they have people they have a whole team they probably have a whole beauty team right trying to like make them look perfect but at the same time like everyone over there has beautiful beautiful skin like it's very rare to see someone even with a little bit of acne and I'm obviously like acne exists over there but like for the most part, they all just look so much younger than they actually are. Not that there's anything wrong with aging, but their skincare game, their skincare game is just, it's like on a whole other level. And so I'm like, I'm gonna get on that. Um, the products are really affordable. Everything is gonna be linked in my bio. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some coffee and then I'm gonna pump out some readings, some love readings for March. I'll see you guys for my night routine. Bye. Hello, hello. Oh my god, I look like a mess. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I am going to start off by toning my face. Where's my toner? There it is. I'm going to start off by toning with the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. A lot of people use this. This was very popular on TikTok, so. And I'm going to use it on my armpits because TikTok told me to. Also, I wasn't wearing makeup today, but I do use the Garnier Micellar Water to take my makeup off. I usually use the one with the pink, the pink top or the pink bottle. And I accidentally bought this one one day or they were out of the pink one. I honestly can't remember. It was so long ago. This is a huge bottle. I bought this months ago. So yeah, it's almost gone now. When I go back, I'm going to, I'm going to buy actually like a mini travel size one of the pink one because this literally lasted me like months. <laughs> Next, I am going to go in with the Kiehl's Retinol Skin Renewing Serum. My mom got this as a sample at work. Yeah, before I was using the CeraVe Retinol, which was fine. I only use Retinol a couple times a week, maybe like three times a week. If I use it every day, it does irritate my skin. Um, so it is a little bit harsh, but I do really like it. I do really like it. It's a good product. Next. Next, I'm going to go in with another snail secretion product. Uh, this is the Cosrx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin, Mucin? Mucin Power Essence. You guys know I'm a dry skin girly. This just helps with moisture retention. But anyway, it is a little bit gooey. So like I said, it's a snail product or snail secretion product. So, But it doesn't smell like anything and it's really not that gross. Next, I'm going to go in with this Beauty of Joseon's Revive Eye Serum. Yeah, I actually really like this too. 
it's really really nice i'm actually gonna put these i'm gonna put it on my eyes and like this area of my forehead and my smile lines to help with wrinkles not that i have any I'm trying to prevent them yeah just trying to prevent wrinkles so i forgot to mention in my morning routine that i use an eyelash serum so i, I i've been using the ordinary eyelash serum this kind of went viral on tiktok i haven't noticed anything spectacular with it um i use it in the morning because mixing an eyelash serum with my eye cream makes my eyes burn so um, um but what i'm putting on my face now i completely forgot to tell you guys before i put it on my face so what i'm going in with now is the soon young 2x barrier intensive cream so yeah this is really really nice it's really thick but it doesn't like feel heavy on the skin this is a really really nice night cream at least for me since it is colder out i have been slugging the really super dry parts of my face with aquaphor so it just helps it helps a lot and i also get eczema on my fingers i don't know if you can like see that but I get eczema. I don't know what happened. When I was 19, I started getting eczema on my fingers. I don't know. And then it's made worse because I lift. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I like to use Aquaphor pretty much on any super dry spot on my body. So I get really dry right here in between my eyebrows for some reason. Don't know why. So I kind of just put that on there. I don't rub it in too hard. Um, Put it on my nose as well. My nose for some reason gets so flaky. So put that there. And I only do this when it's super cold out, which is right now. So <laughs> yeah, and then my chin gets super dry. So yeah. I'll tell you guys also about my lotion routine. So it is kind of <laughs> it is kind of extensive. Um, but I again I use aquaphor on the really dry parts of my body. So my ankles, my knees my elbows and then just any dry patches sometimes I get dry patches of eczema or something on my arms I don't really get those as often it's mostly on my fingers now I don't know why this I use to prevent strawberry legs this is the CeraVe SA cream for rough and bumpy skin so yeah I mean I wouldn't say I've I've seen a huge difference since using it um I'm not gonna say it's like a bad cream it definitely makes my skin very soft but I wouldn't say that like it's like cured my strawberry legs. A lot of people say that it has. It hasn't cured mine, so I don't know. The rest of my body, so again, my lotion routine is very like specific. E is it Eos? I don't know, I was never into their chapsticks, so I don't know. <laughs> the chapsticks had a chokehold on my high school. 24 hour moisture body lotion in pomegranate raspberry. Um, it definitely smells really good. I'm only halfway through the bottle. I bought this a while ago too. So I pretty much just put this on my arms like up to about like right here and then this is where I start to get like back knee and stuff and I definitely get back knee from like working out and like being in, sh in sports bras and stuff. I definitely I avoid lotion anywhere past like right here um, but I use this basically like on my thighs and my arms. So yeah. Uh, um, something that I forgot to mention too um, to take my makeup off if I'm wearing a full face, I use the Beauty of Josan's cleansing oil, and I'm gonna link that down in the description, but um, it, it's in my bathroom, I just don't feel like getting it. <laughs> it is the best cleansing oil I've ever used in my life. I used to use cleansing bombs. I used the, whatever that pink one, the, it came in the pink packaging, it went viral on TikTok, I think it was Versed, I can't remember. I used that one, and I used the e.l.f. one which everyone rant and raves about. I personally don't like cleansing balms. I know a lot of people are like, oh, the e.l.f. one doesn't stay on your skin. Like, but both cleansing balms and both were at different price points too. Like the pink one that went viral on TikTok, that one was a lot more expensive than the e.l.f. one. I think the e.l.f. one was like $10. Um, but both left a film on my skin even after I like washed with face wash. Like I just don't really like cleansing mom so I don't know if it's just like my skin I don't know Cl the cleansing oil that I got from Beauty of Josan is amazing it is amazing and like literally I just take a few pumps I rub it in between my hands and I just and um it takes all of my makeup off in I just like seconds it's it's great it's a great product 
Like I have used it a lot and I still have like a full bottle of it and so it definitely is going to last a long time. Very affordable. Highly recommend that product. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention this as well. Once a week, I will shave my face with one of these like oop, with one of these like little razors and I use the Nature Republic aloe vera gel. Yeah, you don't have to use this aloe vera gel. I just this one also went viral on TikTok back in 2020 and I bought it. And also EXO was doing promo with Nature Republic at one point. So I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, I do this like every Sunday. I forgot to do it yesterday and honestly, I'm too tired to do it tonight, but uh, shaving my face once a week has given me the nicest glow. Like, my skin just glows. Not shines, it glows. It's just amazing. My skin looks amazing when I do this. Thank you guys for watching. I am going to go put all of this lotion on, and then I am going to go to bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Check out the rest of my channel. I post tarot videos. I post all sign videos and individual zodiac sign videos, and I will be posting more blogs, or more blogs, more vlogs soon to come. Um, I'll be vlogging, like, my fitness journey. Um... And just like how to get my appetite back. I lost my appetite about three years ago and I've been struggling to get it back. So I'm going to be talking more about that. And then I'm also going back home to where, or I'm going back to like where I grew up, uh, Portland, Oregon. So I'm going back there for a couple of weeks at the end of March. And I will be vlogging my whole trip there. And it should be really, really fun. I'll be in Washington, Seattle area. And I will also be in Portland just hanging out. And so I'm really excited to vlog. I, I've always wanted to vlog. So yeah, it's going to be fun. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Go check out my other videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye.